Hey, what's up guys? I got a quick look at CM 10.2 on the Nexus 4. Yes, you heard that right. I did get an LG Nexus 4. Kind of surprising because never really got it, but it was $200. I had to pick it up. So let's go ahead and jump into settings. Scroll down to about phone. See right here, we are running on Android 4.3, CM 10.2. Now, a lot of people are going away from CyanogenMod because of their new foundation or whatever that is all about but I don't really care to smooth ROM it works it has great battery life I'm gonna use it so this is my device for I don't know it just sits there I read it for news look up a few phones that I can pick up on Craigslist stuff like that but if we go over to settings so this is kinda like if you guys seen my video on the HP touchpad if we go to home screen you can kinda customize the home screen with a grid size the transition effect I like my little tablet transition effect because it just works you can show the grid outlines, stuff like that. Usual stuff like, you know, you can find those in Nova Launcher, stuff like that. You can hide the apps, you can change the orientation, choose transition effect. No one really cares about the home screen, it's just kind of one of those things that works, right? Um, if you go into lock screen, see right here, you can choose a custom background that's only on the lock screen, and, and then you have a different one on the home screen, I guess, whatever it works and you can choose the custom i kind of emptied all these because i like where i can just slide up anywhere and unlock the device i think it's just more convenient i guess you would say um you can have the battery status if you choose to maximize widgets you can have camera widgets music controls go ahead and lock it show you guys lock screen see we can slide on over to access our camera or we can go ahead and add widgets so it works go ahead and hit back Themes are the normal C. You can use any type of Science Mod 10.1 or above theme. Some CM10 themes work, but we've got a few issues with theming stuff, so that's always there. Um, if we go under status bar, you can show the clock or hide the clock. You can choose AM, PM if you want that. I like the. Bring this in a little bit. I like the circle mod where there's no battery percentage because I think it just looks more clean. Whoa, kind of got bright for a minute. Um, we have the brightness control where you can slide across that. I'm not going to mess with that or throw my camera all off because I set the ISO, I mean the uh, exposure and stuff like that. So quick settings, you have the quick pull down. I have it set to the right because I'm right handed and I always use the my right hand. So my thumb is there. Um, you can have it to where it auto closes as well. And you can choose the tiles and layouts. So these are the things that I like to use the most. I always have my torch right there so I can quickly access it. When you know you're trying to find something on your floor, because I'm always awake at night. Um, choose sound modes, network modes, stuff like that. You guys don't really care, but let's go ahead and pull down here. So there are some new additions in CM 10.2. I'm not sure if it's in CM 10.1 or not. I have, I always get the latest. So if you tap, you, know, you can have this little camera. You can tap this camera, and it works for. I don't know how well you guys are seeing it, but if I put this thing in here. So you guys can see this thingy here. It's my little claw thing. It works to clean my device because the Nexus 4 is really shiny. You go ahead and tap it. It takes a picture. And if you kind of move this a little bit, it just moves. And then you have the torch, which I use a lot, and it works. And then you have Wi-Fi. Of course, T-Mobile is what I use for my Nexus 4. <clears throat> um, we have notification drawer. I don't use them because, you know, you have the quick settings. So I don't really see why you would have the notification toggles there. I mean, I guess if you have uh, like that filled with toggles and you want to have different toggles up there, I guess that works. Um, you can have expanded desktop. So when you long press power, choose expanded desktop. It works. I use it for games. So it hides the navigation bar. You get the full screen when you're playing games like Need for Speed. I like it a lot. I, I use it on my Droid Razor Max HD where I hide the navigation bar. I have CM 10.2 on that as well. Um, buttons and layout, you can choose different buttons. You can add a menu button. It's not as extensive as AOKP. All you can really do is add a menu button and change the layout. So I kind of wish you could do more, but you know. Um, quick launch shortcuts, this is where you can add apps. So when you slide up, you get more than just Google Now. So if we go back, Pi controls, I did this like Pi. So I'm not going to go into that because I really do not like the UI and how it works. But if we go to display and lights, you can choose all types of rotations. I like to turn it upside down because it is a Nexus device. There are on-screen buttons. So it doesn't really matter which direction you're actually holding the phone, which I like that a lot. Um, you can choose which 
options are in your power menu so you have a screenshot and sound panel stuff like that here you can go back if you go to more this is where you can kind of calibrate your screen to how you like it um I'm not sure how you like your phone so don't really ask me oh what should I put it on how do I like it's kind of dependent on your eyes I don't really use profiles it's just there profiles is so you can set up a profile for say work you can set up a profile for home set up a profile for going out to dinner stuff like that I don't really know um, performance got a processor maximum CPU cannot overclock it I was kind of disappointed I think you can get up to 2 gigahertz on this device. I'm not sure. I haven't really checked XDA much, but it'd be pretty cool if you could. So if you go home and we go to apps, you see that you have Apollo. I installed Attaway to remove the ads because I hate ads. So you have Apollo for the music player and also you have the default Android 4.3 camera, which it works. Um, you do not have Photosphere, which I thought was kind of odd. This is a Nexus device. And the stock Android 4.3 camera does not have Photosphere. And yet it does on other devices running CM10.2. So I wasn't sure what was going on there. But I just installed Focal from the Play Store, which I prefer anyways. I use it on my Droid DNA running Sense 5. And so you see you can have camera, panorama, video. You can have Photosphere. It's called Pixphere on here. But it's basically the same thing. And also you can use the front-facing camera. And then if you swipe to this side, you get all your options, which are abundant. You get a plethora of just everything there. So camera works great on this ROM. There are no hiccups. That's what I love about CyanogenMod, Mod, is that there are absolutely no lags on this device. And it's just really, really smooth. You do have the emojis and messaging. I get a lot of questions about that. Since this is Android 4.3, you do get the numbers that pop up above the dialer. But I'm not going to do that because... I don't want to give out my phone numbers because I do use this device. So there's that. Um, but everything works. You know, it's smooth. It's a Nexus device. It's running Synage Mod 10.2. And I was kind of blown away because a lot of people said stuff, you know, like, oh, it does this, it does this, it lags here. Honestly, it doesn't. Running Android 4.3, this, this phone is a beast. Honestly. This phone stands up against devices that are out now. So. If you have an LG Nexus 4, or just Nexus 4, I guess you guys call it, um, <laughs> I highly recommend that you download and install Science Mod 10.2. I know the clutter on my desk, but you know, busy times call for busy measures. So, I also forgot you guys have custom wallpapers and ringtones and notification tones. I actually only have one, but there's that. So, if you guys, if I miss anything, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know. I don't really think I did. It's basically stock Android with a lot of performance tweaks and just the customization options that you necessarily need. Like swiping up, you can have camera here and then torch over here because you really need those, you know, apps. So, you know, it's just things that you really need. It's not like AOKP where it's just loaded down with features. They try to keep it as stock and minimal as possible, and I do not knock them for that. I think it's a really good thing that they actually do that. But, yeah, I hope I helped you guys out. If you guys want to see anything else, just go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll let that focus because I keep messing it up. Um, but if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot, more than you guys know. And I will see you guys in the next video.